as it looks Making it look easy is not as easy as it looks It takes time and patience and care You can't do pirouettes in your chair You go day by day by day by day It takes will to find a way Because making it look easy is not as easy as it looks So you try and try and try and try And the time goes by and by and by To think and feel it takes discipline And you'll never give in Making it look easy is not as easy as it looks Making it look easy is not as easy as it looks Making it look easy is not as easy as it looks Oh, Angelina, do you want to work with me? I'd absolutely, positively love to, Vicky. But who can be our number three? <coughs> Alice, would you like to be in our group? Uh, yes, please. What sort of mythical creature can we be? Um... <gasps> I know. What about a unicorn with a horn on its head? That would be great. We could do a really graceful unicorn dance. Absolutely. Or a dragon. They are so brilliant. I saw a beautiful, amazing Chinese dragon once. Was it in Chipping Cheddar? No. It was when I visited my cousin in San Francisco. We went to Chinatown. Was it dangerous? <laughs> It's not actually a dragon, Alice. It was lots of people doing a dragon dance. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hmm. A dragon does sound quite exciting, but I'd like to do something graceful and flowing. Like a unicorn. Exactly. <laughs> <sighs> but I wanted to do the dragon dance I saw in San Francisco. It was so amazing! in front of everybody and then I'm the only one who wants to dance ballet I'm beginning to think I'll never ever feel at home at Camembert come on Angelina as soon as Grace is finished it will be your turn to dance oh Just do ballet after she does that. And now, your turn. Go on, Angelina. You've still got time before lunch. What music should I play? I'm a pretty good accompanist. <sighs> um, not classical music. Something more jazzy. More like what Vicky does. Uh, okay. Um, and what uh... Gracie does.
gosh, it's hard to play along with that dance. Oh, it's not your fault. I don't know what I'm doing. <gasps> okay, we're ready. Oh. <laughs> Let's try some new steps too. No, but it's fun. But you have to do the steps my way, because I'm the choreographer. Well, maybe you should dance all by yourself, Angelina Ballerina. See you later. Dancing a solo dance is wonderful and I love it. But working as a team and dancing together, that's even more stupendous! AJ isn't here to watch. He's joining our ballet class. Oh, I'm lucky you have room for me. This is so amazing. We have a new student with new ideas. But he's not a ballet dancer. He's a super good hip hopper and he's really nice. But that doesn't mean he can do ballet. Come on, students. The bar is waiting for us to warm up. Plies, dancers. Deep plies. Oh, what do you call that? I don't know. Ballet hop? He's got good rhythm, but I don't think that's ballet. Now let's stretch our legs up, 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 and onto the bar. <laughs> I've never seen anyone do that in ballet class. It must be a hip-hop warm-up. And now finally, pour de bras. 
side to side. Positions to beatbox sounds. That's different. Good, AJ. But a little less bouncing. And please listen to the music I'm playing and not the music you're making. Right. Time to learn our new dance. One group dances today while the other group watches. Good. Now let's do a pas de chat across the floor. That's it for today, darling dancers. Please practice the steps we've learnt. We'll perform these steps in a part de deux recital. I'll tell you your partners next class. <gasps> See you later, partners. Mm. Alice, you can do all the steps I make up, even the really hard ones. Alice, Alice and Angelina, Angelina, friends forever! my partner in the showcase tomorrow. It will be our first time dancing together at your new school. We have to be extra good. I have an idea. What if we end our dance with a twirl? Or a leap? Or a cartwheel? <laughs> Actually, I've made up all the steps for our dance and a cartwheel is not in it. Oh, okay. Hi, girls. I came up to have a peek at your new dance. Here's a few of the steps I made up. Nice choreography, Angelina. Choreography? A choreographer creates a dance like an author creates a story. Wow! I love being a choreographer. And I know dancing makes little girls very hungry. Yes, I'm hungry. I've brought you some lovely sandwiches. Now I'm off to check on Polly. Thanks, Mum. Thank Mom. you. Poor Polly's in bed. She has the sniffles. My dad says almost everybody in Chipping Cheddar has the sniffles. But we don't. So we, we can, can dance, dance and dance. Yes! Bye, Alice. See you tomorrow. This will be the best dance with the partner showcase ever. Oh! Angelina, this is for you. Mum, it's from Miss Lily. What does it say? My dear Angelina, I am writing to tell you that your new ballet teacher at Camembert is an old friend of mine. Her name is Miss Mimi. Oh, Mum, look what she says next. I have told Miss Mimi what a brilliant dancer you are and she can't wait to have you as a student. My new teacher knows I'm a brilliant dancer. Isn't that brilliant? Speaking of brilliant things, Dad's been working on a surprise for you. Let's go and have a look at it. A surprise? For me? <gasps> oh. <laughs> this is all for me. A place to practice right in my room. I can dance any time I want. Me too. Yes, you too, Polly. Oh, I love it. Thank you. 
Thank you, Dad. Thank you, Mum. Everything's brilliant. There's a ballet shop right round the corner and my new teacher knows Miss Lily and I can dance in my room and at my new school. Oh, but... Mum, I told a terrible lie. And now I won't be able to go to Camembert because I called and... Told them to give away your place because we weren't moving. How did you know? Remember that phone call Dad called me upstairs for? It was Camembert. They recognise a scared little mouseling when they hear one. And I hid this letter too. So you thought if we didn't know when school started, you wouldn't have to go? Angelina, we're disappointed in you. Me too. I think I was afraid of not being able to see Alice every Saturday and of not going to Miss Lily's school. You were afraid of all those changes? Yes. I was trying to make everything stay the same. Change isn't always a bad thing. It's just, well, different. We all had to leave some things behind, but there are many exciting things here. And new friends, too. And your old friends won't forget you. That's really good, isn't it? It's really, really good, <coughs> Polly. Uh, coach? Hi, Angelina. I'm looking forward to your big performance. Me too. But I have a favour to ask first. Could be really good to mark because I need to really be It would be so impressed In my imagination The huge crowd roars He shoots, he scores But you wanted me to sing Not to fly down the wing To show a different kind of heart You, you and me Together we all the way good friends should be You and me eternally The way good friends should be Hooray! Look, they did like the music I was so afraid they wouldn't, but I was wrong This music is amazing Going. And now, as a special Valentine's Day surprise, that amazing mousling from Costa Mousa will take the first shot of the period. <sighs> and what a hit! Game on! <laughs> Your song was fantastic. The whole team loved it. So tomorrow is Lend a Poor Day. It's a day where you help someone out who really needs it. So I want you all to split into groups and find someone you can help out. Yes, Angelina. Some of us could help Mrs Thimble at the store. She's hurt her wrist. Yes, and I heard her say she had lots to do in the shop this weekend. I'll help too. Perfect. That's one very good Lend a Poor project. Now... Oh, oh, sorry I'm late, Miss Mimi. Hmm. Oh, I've been learning about disco dancing. Hmm. Oh, it's the best thing ever. <laughs> Where did you hear about disco dancing, Gracie? Oh, I saw it in an old film at the weekend. I love it. It's good that you found a new form of dance, but you mustn't let it get in the way of being on time for school. I was just telling everyone about Lend a Poor Day. Don't worry, Gracie. You can join us. We'll tell you all about it at lunchtime. So, that's 
the plan. We'll meet at Mrs Thimble's store as soon as it opens. Mrs Thimble is going to be so happy. And maybe we can do some disco too. Disco music is great. You know it came from jazz and rock. Oh, and Latin music too. It's got a really strong steady beat so it's easy to dance to. We're so grown up that we're doing a ballet pantomime of Goldilocks and the two mouselings on our own without Miss Mimi. Only two mouselings? Yes. Alice is our director. I want to be in Goldilocks. Not yet, Polly. You're too young. You need to be older. Look, I could never reach up here before. Now I can finally put the milk on the top shelf. My little mouseling isn't so little anymore. I'm a big mouseling too. Measure me, I'm getting taller. You're getting stronger, that's for certain. Hmm, looks like you're the same height as yesterday, Polly. You're going to grow taller soon, Polly, I promise. But I want to be taller right now! Sorry I'm late, everybody, but I'm ready to go. Jazzy pirouettes or noodles or whatever Miss Mimi wants. I'm all set, Miss Mimi. What should we do first? Let's try flying. Hooray! Whoa! Yes! Um... Let's all float through the air like little butterflies. Lily never did this. Are you a ladybird, Vicky? Excellent. And what are you, Angelina? Um, uh, uh, a bumblebee. Good. Now swoop around and buzz. No, there's actually a bumblebee and it's coming right at me. Shoo! Leave me alone. Whoa! Oh! Angelina, are you okay? Not really. I can't seem to do anything right. Oh, I'm just a failure. <laughs> Angelina! Alice! <laughs> Everybody, this is my oldest friend, Alice. Alice, this is Gracie. Hello. This is Vicky. Mm, welcome. And of course, Marco. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody. So, what are we playing? You can pick something. Oh, okay. Um, how about. I know. Let's play school. Yes. Um, okay. <laughs> We'll be the students, and you can be the teacher. School time! Um, Alice, I mean teacher, at our school the bell doesn't go clang, clang, clang. It goes ding, 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 ding. She's right, like this. Oh, OK, thanks. Everybody sit down, please. Good morning, class. Good morning, Miss Alice. Who wants to take the register? Gracie? Oh, you forgot something. Forgot what? <laughs> Why, the silly morning stretch, of course. At Camembert Academy, the first thing we do every morning is Stand by our desks and stretch to the sky like this. Huh? Mm hmm. Okay, everybody up and stretch. Uh, but then we bend way over and touch our fingers to our toes. Okay, now touch your toes. Oh, and then we give our bodies a big shake, shake, shake. <laughs> Shaking is fun! Oh, Miss Alice! 
Stretch time is over. It is? Okay, then. Let's all take our seats and... Yes, Marco? After the stretch, we always do the school handshake. Oh, the school handshake? Now do we take the register? Why, that's up to you, Miss Alice. You're the teacher. Time class. Ah, uh, story time. The four dance studio at Camembert. We usually have story time after lunch. Mm? Oh, uh, Miss Alice is right. At our old school, we had story time in the morning before break. We could do it that way. All right, let's try it. Sounds good. <sighs> Class, today I thought I'd read you my favourite story, Goldilocks and the Three Crickets. Crickets? Pirouette left, pirouette right. Now what are they doing? The camembert cheer. Tap, Tap your toes with all your might. It's not fair. I was reading my story. I know, but... Camembert kids never... <gasps> Our playtime is not going well. She's amazing, all right. I want to tell you about a girl, but there's so much to say. I know that when she's around, the fun's not far away. Always singing. because I was the only one little enough. You both did a beautiful job. I'm so lucky to have two lovely dancers for daughters. Ow! My feet! They hurt! Maybe you've been dancing too much. Have a seat and finish your dinner. They still hurt. Did anyone step on them? Did you jump on something hard? Let me take a look. Ow! What? What is it? <laughs> it's your shoes. They're too small for you. My feet grew! Wow, my feet grew! <laughs> <laughs> Measure me too. Pretty, please. Let's see. You've grown... Mm, just a tiny wee bit. But I want to be tall. Don't worry, you'll get taller. It just takes time. I want to be tall now! <sighs> uh, Dad, are you using your camera on Saturday? No, I don't think so. Great! So could you be there at the marathon to take a photo of Marco when he comes in first? Ah. Oh, come on, please. You are the best photographer in all of Chipping Cheddar. Oh, um, OK. <laughs> I guess I could do that. Stupendous! Look, everyone. I can run like Marco. Could you make some flags for everyone? 
everyone to wave along the route. Please? Thanks, Mum. Excuse me, everyone. I need to go upstairs and work on my cheerleader routine. What's a cheerleader routine? Running hard, he'll go far. Marco, Marco, rah, rah, rah! What are you doing, Angelina? I'm a cheerleader. I'm making up some cheerleader chants for my cheerleader team. Can I be a cheerleader, Angelina? It's not easy, Polly. We have to put on a really good show to support Marco when he runs in the marathon. I can do it, I can do it. All right, Polly. Just copy what I do. Okie dokie. M A R C and O. Marco, Marco, watch him go. Hooray! <sighs> That's hard. Being a cheerleader is hard, Polly. There's dancing and gymnastics, not to mention the chanting. What is chanting? Well, a chant is a bit like a poem and a bit like a song. It rhymes, but instead of singing the words like this, He's amazing, he's a star. You say them to a rhythm, like this. He's amazing, he's a star. He's our hero, rah, rah, rah. Put the chanting with the dancing and you've got yourself a cheer. North and South, East and West, we love Marco, he's the best! Backwards, forwards, up and down, Marco Mouse, the best in town. That's great, Polly! She had a lot to do. We swing and we sway together all the way as we do a Chinese dragon dance. We turn and we bend together with our friends. We do a Chinese dragon dance. Graceful and flowing all the while knowing the dragon protect us from harm. As fierce as can be, the dragon certainly will be a mousling good luck charm. We swing and we sway together all the way as we do a Chinese dragon dance. We turn and we bend together with our friends. We do a Chinese dragon dance. Do a Chinese dragon dance. we going to do our graceful galloping unicorn dance? Let's start by just doing some graceful moves. <gasps> yes! Watch me flow! I still think the dragon dance would be a lot more exciting. But dragons stomp around, Vicky. And we want to do something graceful. But the unicorn is galloping through a misty forest. But yes, with a long white mane and a flowing tail. Were you saying something, Vicky? Oh, I was saying, I think I'll go downstairs while you two work out the unicorn dance.
Hello, Vicky. How's your dance coming along? It's fine. I wanted to do a Chinese dragon dance, but Angelina and Alice want to be unicorns. Hmm. A Chinese dragon dance does sound very interesting. Maybe a little Chinese music would help you change their minds. Oh, it's just like the music I heard in San Francisco. Could I borrow this, Mr Mouseling? Of course, Vicky. <laughs> oh, thanks, Mr Mouseling. Try to keep up, Alice. It's a lot harder than I thought to be a unicorn, Angelina. wasn't graceful at all. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mouselings. Look what I've got. Huh. It's Dad's music box. Listen to this Chinese music. This is what dragons dance to. Oh, it's sort of squeaky and sort of clangy. We couldn't be graceful unicorns with music like this. Oh? But thanks, Vicky. That's given me an idea. It has? Great! We need to find some flowing music. And then we'll work out our unicorn dance in no time. Oh. Oh. Are you going to be a princess? A fairy princess. Actually, a fairy who becomes a princess because I'm the best dancer in the Magic Forest. Magic Forest? Fairy princess? Can I be a prima ballerina too? Sorry, Polly. Only one dancer gets to be the prima ballerina. But maybe when you're big like me, you can be in the corps de ballet. Corps de... Huh? <laughs> corps de ballet. That's what we call the dancers who dance together in a group. So many new words. That's because there are so many different kinds of dancers. Did you know the counting can be fun? Let's begin a song with number one. The numbers two and three come next in line and soon you'll see that the magic has begun. Number four, to move it right along. In the next position in our counting song And then the number five will bring your ballet shoes alive Places everyone for every ballerina Just before they point a toe Must know their numbers One, two, five And with these five positions You'll be ready for the show And your ballet ballerina, but Gracie has a solo and Alice dances with a partner. How about Vicky? Vicky's not going to dance because she wants to paint the scenery. Like painting pictures? Mm-hmm. Really big pictures. Oh, that's what I want to do. And this is Polly's growing music. It goes up higher and higher. Polly hopes the music will make her do the same thing. Go up, up, up! I'm a big mouseling now. Please measure me. <laughs> um, am I a lot taller? Well, actually... Oh, Polly, you're growing. You just can't tell yet. But I want to be taller now! Polly's still having growing troubles. 
and now we're having baby mouseling troubles. I say we try Goldilocks and the two mouselings again. It just doesn't work with the music. We need somebody for that super-duper high-pitched music. But nobody could do it, remember? We've been rehearsing forever. Time to get home and do our homework. All right, let's try to work something out tomorrow. Come on, Angelina. Mum is taking us to the library before we go home. Polly? Let me see you dance over to the tiny bed. <laughs> now dance back to the side of the stage. <laughs> Stupendous news! I found the perfect baby mouseling. She's much smaller than all of us. And she's been practicing hard and already knows the part. Everyone say hello to my little sister Polly, our new baby mouseling. <laughs> and now for some music. How about a little jazz? Jazz? In a ballet class? Uh, Miss Mimi? Miss Lily always played classical music like Mozart during warm-up. Really? But I just love jazz. The smooth, mellow sounds just make me want to stretch. <sighs> Not first position, stretch. Sorry, we always started with first position. Now the cool jazz sounds are inspiring me to bend way back like a noodle. Can you be a noodle, Angelina? Uh, yes, I'll try. Hmm. Let's all touch our toes. <sighs> and wiggle our nose. Angelina, I do things a little differently in my class. Won't you give my way a try? Yes, of course. And now let's all do a jazzy pirouette. That looked like a ballet pirouette. With Miss Lily, we always did plain pirouettes. Without all that jazz. Lunchtime. After we eat, we'll meet in the lunchtime theatre. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I will now sing an amazing aria. One hundred years ago, or was it ninety? Our parade was started by the mayor. And now they throw confetti down on the high street. Or is it cheesy bits in the square? Oh, there's so much, too much, oh, so much history. Angelina! Angelina! Yes, Miss Mimi? Come along! <laughs> Next stop on our tour was the park, where the first Cheese Day Festival was held 100 years ago. Ms. Mimi even demonstrated the art of cheese rolling. Then we were off to the High Street Cafe, where the very first Cheese Danish and Chipping Cheddar was made. Yummy! I can't wait till lunch! And last of all, our class trip took us to the town hall, where the world's biggest cheese sandwich once towered above the steeple and could be seen from miles around. There's so much history in our little town. I hope I can remember it all. What a fun field trip! Now, let's take our seats. Now, class, how would you like to start the presentation? Let's talk about the very first cheese day. Good idea. Now, does anyone remember how many years ago it was? Um, 50 years ago? No, 
That was when they threw the cheesy bits. There's just so much. I wish I could remember history like dance steps. Oh! Well, I'm not having any trouble remembering. But Angelina, I'm sure you can remember the name of Chipping Cheddar's famous opera singer. Yes. Was it Arabella Gorgonzola? Mm -mm. Pamela Parmesan? Felicia Fetter? Oh, dear. Oh, maybe I am having a little trouble remembering. Don't worry. We can do it. Let's review the facts. Can't we review the cheese wheel dance instead? 